Hello and welcome to another episode of Interactive Biology TV, where we're making biology fun. My name is Leslie Samuel, and in this episode, episode 45, I'm going to be talking about the pacemaker potential of the SA node and the AV node. And we're basically going to look at how this results in the heart beating automatically. So let's get right into it. Let's first talk about the SA node. The SA node stands for the sinoatrial node, and you can see it in this figure over here. It is number one. That's this cluster of cells, and it is basically a specialized group of cardiac muscle cells that don't contract, which is kind of strange. It's muscle cells, and they don't actually contract. But what's special about these cells is that they are adapted to automatically generate impulses. So it can automatically cause signals that can spread throughout the heart, causing the heart to beat. The SA node functions as the pacemaker of the heart. Yes, we have the AV node and some other stuff that we're going to talk about, but this generates signals faster than any of the others, so it sets the pace for the heartbeat. As you can see, it is located in the right atrium. So now let's talk about the AV node. The AV node is number two, so it's this cluster of cells here, and it stands for the atrioventricular node. It is similar in function to the SA node in that it automatically generates impulses, and it is located between the atria and the ventricles, hence the name atrioventricular node. Now let's go back to the SA node and see how this results in the pacemaker potential. Before we look at that, I just want to point out that we have in addition to the SA node and the AV node, we have some fibers that extend from the AV node and spread throughout the ventricle, and those fibers are called Purkinje fibers. And these are also very important in that they spread that signal throughout the rest of the ventricle. So let's talk about the SA node. We said that that functions as the pacemaker, so we're going to look at the pacemaker cells that we have in the SA node. What is special about these cells is that normally there's a significantly higher conductance for sodium than there is for potassium. Now if you go back to episode 6, I talk about down and equilibrium and driving force, and I show how there's normally a driving force for sodium to rush into the cell. And I also show that potassium wants to leave the cell. Now because the cell is much more permeable to sodium, we're going to have a situation where there's much more sodium coming in than potassium leaving. So because we have more positives going in than leaving, what we're going to get is a pacemaker potential where the cell normally depolarizes, and then when it reaches the threshold, something interesting happens. Yes, we have the sodium rushing in and some potassium leaving, but now that we've reached the threshold, voltage-gated calcium channels open, and calcium is going to rush into the cell. So we're going to get this rapid depolarization. In other words, we're going to get an action potential. Then, at the peak, we're going to get a different situation where, yes, we have sodium coming in and potassium leaving, but voltage-gated potassium channels are going to open so that the conductance for potassium increases significantly and potassium is going to rush out of the cell, repolarizing the membrane. At that point, we still have the sodium that's coming in and the voltage-gated potassium channels close, so we have the initial situation where sodium is rushing into the cell, causing this depolarization, then the same thing happens. It reaches the threshold, voltage-gated calcium channels open, depolarizing the cell membrane once again, causing that impulse. Voltage-gated potassium channels open, causing potassium to rush out of the cell again. And this process continues over and over and over. So what ends up happening is we have this automatic signal that's generated constantly, resulting in the contraction of the heart. And this causes the heart to beat. It's really that straightforward. But the main idea is that the cells in the SA node 
have a significantly higher conductance for sodium, so it continuously depolarizes, causing that impulse that causes the heart to beat. That's really all I want to talk about in this video. As usual, you can visit the website at interactive-biology.com for more biology videos and other resources to help make biology fun. This is Leslie Samuel. That's it for this video, and I'll see you in the next one.